They don't want strep cells. I'll, I'll, I'll take a second. Come on. Who's the leader? What's all with the strep cells? Oh, I only want them because they're blue. It's just like mental. Who's the leader? That's BB's. I didn't even work which one that is. It's <laughs> actually my ghost. What flavour is that? Yeah, was, that's why blue I want to try it. Don't tell me. Blue flavour. Did not expect it? No. No. That's been quite quick. Yeah, it's been actual rapid. <laughs> Are you used to it now or do you still like a bit like Jesus? Oh no, I still know what you used to like. No. 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 Never <laughs> It's probably the best way to get started. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But then there'll always come a time when you've got to have new tunes and you can't be yeah, you need to just knuckle down. Yeah. You can't just, just be getting out. the same material. Yeah. Stuff. People get bored. That's what we're doing now, we're getting our EP started. Yeah. So like until then, we've kinda of just been playing the same set as what we've been playing for the past year, so to get something new, then that's the way we can like progress. Yeah. Otherwise people will stop coming to see you. Yeah. I'd say probably a lot of time with the compacts. Yeah, like yeah. Our second gig was really like quite big. We supported Modulator playing, so that was like yeah. the so second thing. So ended up selling out as well. So Wait, that yeah. was your second gig. That was our yeah. second gig. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so that was kind of like a bit of a surprise. And after that, it kind of really just went from there. Like every, yeah. a lot more people started like noticing that and like seeing like the whole actual thing. Again, yeah, again, it's kind of just got asked through the contacts we had. Neil Watts, well, I kind of saw that we were touring and I really liked them, so I was like, well, get in there, see if we can support. Didn't think we'd actually get it, so we ended, but we ended up actually getting two gigs within Dundee and Dunfermline, which was our first gig ever outside Dundee, so that was good. And the view, that was contact. Yeah, yeah, Adam yeah, was a family yeah. thing. Yeah. Aye, yeah. It's nearly always a chorus first and then verses come later. And we usually always have like loads of tunes on the background and we kind of forget about for a while and we always come back to them and some of them actually turn out alright. Do you know what as well, like, if we're finished on it, like, I, think, I don't think we've ever finished a song and no one back, back and changed from it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, well, like, like changing it about it. And before we decide on what it's actually like, kind of like on its actual structure, we'll just kind of play it a couple of times and then it feels a bit more natural when you've done it for yeah. a certain amount of time. So who comes first? Would you like come on with like a guitar track first, or was it like a drum track? What happened? Past couple of times, yeah. Like, well, for the first song, like that we ever came up together with, as a band, Adam had like a cool bit for the guitar, and then every week kind of just followed on. From yeah, it yeah. came quite naturally that one. But yeah, that was a quick that, one. Yeah. Every and after that, it's not that it's like a slow process, but well, uh, it takes time. <laughs> but it's uh, you know, not like it's tedious. It's not good. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's kind of take, take time. Yeah, we yeah, take we, more care with it. Yeah, we're careful with it. That's the thing about Ask Me Again, that was their first song. Like it, uh, the good thing about it is kind of just like quick, there's not much to it. And I don't know, maybe that's why it yeah, got the recognition. And the rest knows. are all sort of a lot more thought out. Yeah. It's good though. It's good for yeah, the wise. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Yeah. Bad, yeah. Because you hesitate. April 10th. April 10th. Yeah. April 10th. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. well, we've got the gig at in Glasgow, nice and sleazy, on the 16th of April. And we'll start, yeah, we'll start <laughs> recording. <laughs> Our EP on 18th, and then on 23rd we play in Edinburgh, and after that we're just going to see what happens. Got what EP on? Oh yeah, so we do. June the fourth. That's in Glasgow. I'm looking forward. Yeah, up for yeah. a road trip. <laughs> <laughs> good get, good getting out of Dundee and playing other places. Eh? Letting other people hear one. Yeah, new audience and that. <laughs> Sherlock's. I don't think it's Sherlock's. 
And you had to get and you had to get all the yeah. abuse. Well, yeah, no, it was your favourite song at the moment. Well, I didn't hear some new tunes. Oh, I tried. Caps lock. So, what's the best gig you've ever been to? Yeah. Baby shampoos at the bar was 2030 September. Which is awesome. No, that's not the thing. Kasabian care folks. Oh, Kasabian care. Nah, big one coming to your hometown. Kasabian care. I second that one actually. That was good. That was good. Like, first gig you've ever been to? The few kids all. I haven't seen one night only in Fox Alps. I went to see the view. It was a silent gig actually. It was, it was in the Overgate car park at the bottom level. Everyone had headphones on. It was really weird. But that was my first gig. Strokes are Tame Apollo. 